welcome back. Um, this is M.I. Schloss and I will be showing you guys today how to go ahead and give your dog a, a pill. And a lot of people are afraid to approach their dog, especially if their dog is sick. Uh, they don't know what to do. They, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, to the danger of the dog, don't even give the dog the pills because they are so frustrated in this dog not being able to take the pill. So I will be giving you a very quick tip and I guarantee you that dog will take that pill every single time. He'll actually look forward to taking that pill. He will be sad when you don't give him that pill. So stay tuned. Uh, this is just the intro for it and we're going to get going. I'm going to lay out exactly what to do. And actually I have a dog right now that is on uh, medication that I am giving every day daily. Uh, he has had medication that he had to be given twice a day so morning and evening so yeah you do not want to forego giving your dog medication when needed as authorized by the vet so stay tuned i will get you all the ingredients and paraphernalia that you need to do and we'll get going and i guarantee you that you will have a good experience with your dog and your dog will come and trust you each and every time you approach them with a pill stay tuned so we, here we are back in the kitchen, and these are the two ingredients, the main ingredients that I use. Uh, one is any type of softer type of cheese. I just picked this up at um, you know Kroger or Publix. It's just a bag of cheese. I get the Colby Jack. Um, you can get any other ones. These are cubes, and you do want to get the cubes. I don't know if you if you've seen them, but that's the way they are and then the other thing that you can get and it's uh, totally up to you and your dog whichever they prefer I get hot dogs and again these are just uh, your standard original I get the chicken hot dogs just because they are on sale it doesn't have to be anything mind-blowing or expensive you can get the you know one dollar package of hot dogs they don't care uh, dogs don't care and as you see there's about two of them missing already because I just slice uh, little bits each time put the pill in there or you can put it in here but I will go ahead and demonstrate how that's done I won't give him a pill right now I'm actually going to give him like a tiny bit of little cookie morsel inside the pill but it's going to show you exactly how to do this okay so once again these are the two ingredients that you need you only really need one ingredient it's up to your dog on which one they prefer whether it's the cheese and there's the cheese ball there I'm sorry that's my aluminum foil there that keeps blowing and then a hot dog and what you're going to be doing is basically the same size that this cube is is about what you want the hot dog to be so that they can take it in one bite you know they'll smell on it and they were going to take that down so let me see if I can do this with one hand. Basically, right about there. We're gonna go ahead and slice that hot dog. The rest you can put away, put back in your package. I'm gonna put the aluminum foil back in there and it'll be good to go. I mean, a whole package of hot dogs will last you forever and a day with your dog and so will the Colby Jack. And you can even mix them up, you know, just so that they don't get bored. Do a, you know, a, a piece of a hot dog one day, do a piece of Colby Jack or any other type of cheese cube the next day and that way they'll definitely you know won't catch on that you're doing something uh, with them so there it is and I'm gonna go ahead and use the hot dog today and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna poke a little hole in it with the uh, the knife so I'm gonna try to jack this camera up so that I can do that on camera okay so we are back here so here is my um, dog that I'm gonna be using and for the sake of demonstration, I am going to be using a little piece of uh, dog food kibble. And that's about the right size, if you can see that, that a pill would be. So we're going to go ahead and take our knife and watch this. I'm going to make a slight hole right in there, a pocket. Okay, don't pierce all the way through. Just a nice little pocket. If, you, if I pinch it, I think you can see it. See? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and insert this pill, quote unquote, into it. 
okay? And we're gonna hide it. Just like that, just tuck it in with your fingernail or you can use the end of your knife and that's it, done. And if you're doing it on the cheese, here's the cheese, uh, same thing. You'll make a little indentation in the cheese. This cheese is a little bit harder there we go. And then again, we're going to take our pill. There's our pill. You can see that. Just pretend that's a pill there. There you go. And we're going to go ahead and insert it in there. Get it in there good. Kind of squish it down. You can see it's squished down there. Just poke it down in there. And with the pill, you can uh, with the cheese, it's kind of easier to form and kind of close it up. Okay, so here's our two. There's this one. See, and always hand them the side that does not have the pocket open. Okay, because they do have very, very sensitive uh, noses. So they might even pick up on that pill smell. Just hand it to them like that. This way, treat, treat, treat. Come and get it. Uh, same thing with the uh, hot dog. Hand it this side not the pocket side okay keep that kind of close to the vest as they say all right so these are the two treats nestled in here is his medication very important that he takes it so we'll see how that works with my dog i'll show you that in a second here's biscuit he's got a cone in his head and he's about to take his medication and he's dying for it as you can see so sit down sit Good boy. Uh, 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 don't take the cone off. There you go. You see down the hatch, and he was so eager to get that. He has had some eye surgery, poor thing, so he's definitely been needing the, um, the medication, and he is scratching, trying to get that uh, cone off of him. Yes, you want the cheese, don't you? Good boy. And that was the cheese going down his hatch right now. Just wanted to demonstrate that as well. He's still sniffing on it because he's looking for it. Of course, the cone on his head. So that's how you do it. That's how you give them um, their medication. Like I said, leave comments below and uh, let me know if you found a trick or two. But this will work every time. They will love you for it. They will be looking forward to the treat. See you.